Hi lovely people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sylvia, 37 years old and I'm a makeup addict. I love everything makeup from foundation to eyeshadow to everything I can imagine. I love it all. It has to be put on my face. We're gonna play with it all. Today we're gonna do my face. That's why I'm naked. Naked, well, barefaced. Not naked, I'm wearing clothes. I'm barefaced, sorry. <laughs> Ah, yeah, did I get you there? Yeah, I did, right? You just thought, ooh, naked, but no. Unfortunately, I'm just barefaced, that's what I meant. <laughs> um, I hope this setup is okay. I changed it. I've got a new ring light, which is higher than I thought, so I'm looking really high up in the camera. Or in my phone, in this case, because I've used my phone. I hope it films, because otherwise also I cannot see, because I cannot put a mirror behind it anymore. This is just too high um, for that. So... I hope I'm filming and it's going okay. All the cables are in so I would not have lost lose my battery because yeah they're all hooked in so I should be okay with that so um, yeah I'm probably gonna walk around now and check because that's the only thing I can't see now so if I run out of storage I have a problem. I won't be filming and then I have to see how much I've got so oh well just let's just play with makeup and have fun. So for today we're gonna try out some Be Perfect. I've got the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Foundation in W4. So you're gonna try, I've got the Cronzer in Pecan and I've got the Cheek and this is in Rosy. <clears throat> and I'm curious if it would be the same as the Made by Mitchell Burrish. So if you want to do me a comparison video with one on this was on one on this cheek and see the same, then let me know. Maybe I'll do a little TikTok, maybe I'll do a video. This is Posy Rosy and Rosy. So this looks like quite similar. So I am wondering, but that's for a different video, not today. Today we're just gonna try these, see how they work on my face, enjoy them, have fun with the makeup. So yeah. If you do like my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit notification bell, give me a comment, give me a like, would be amazing, mean the world to me. And join my Patreon if you want. I have a little Patreon group who support me, which I get a little extra money every month to buy more makeup or other stuff. So yeah, now I bought a <coughs> ring light. So yeah, I do want some softbox, but I also want a monitor. So I want, to, I think I need a, a cable to connect to my tablet and see if I can make that work. But for now, <laughs> this is it. So yeah. <coughs> I'm going all the places again, so yeah, um, <laughs> I'm just going to try the foundation. So, this foundation comes in this gorgeous package. If you open it up, um, it looks like this. Someone in my life told me last that it looked like a sacrifice from uh, ancient Egypt, where they kept stuff in, liquids I believe, and they're quite right. Um, don't pull it up. Oh, now it doesn't do that. I would say don't pull it up by its cover because it's quite loose. This is what it looks like. I've got the shade tone, undertone, a little bit wrong, I think. I've tried it on my life, but I do like the coverage. So that's why I also have a high top on. <laughs> so it would be too obvious. But uh, it's not too bad, but there is a little bit... But then again, it was really hard to pick the shades on the Beef Perfect website because I have no idea what the undertone names and the use and everything. And see, why don't you just use neutral pink? All of that kind of things, a little bisque and, and, and weird sensing. I don't know. I thought it was weird. I thought it was really hard to pick out of, especially if you're not English. Maybe if you're not in, if you are English and you know all those words, good. But I have no idea what to expect from a bisque color foundation. So I don't know if this was bisque. I just looked a million of times and decided w7 it's gonna be it so the color wise uh, shade the, the medium color is good it's just the undertone it i think it's a little bit off but yeah you judge it when i put this on for sure so yeah we're gonna just put this on my face and try it out so i put one and a half pump of this on my mixing tablet i put a primer on this is a she glam birthday primer which i've been trying out as well but until now i actually quite enjoy it feel like it really nicely uh, lies on the skin so it should be a good base for underneath foundation I 
don't know how much I, th I don't know what I think about the smell. It's just a little bit, I don't know. But like you can see, it's a really nice coverage. It is, it's like I can see, it, it is my, it's just, I think the undertone is just off. That's why it's bothering me. I have a couple of spots here and here. It's like in a triangle or in a line. How happy am I? Triangle, no. Sometimes our words are hard. <laughs> so yeah, putting this on. I can see it is a really nice coverage. Oh, it's in my brow, not on around it so well. See, that's why I love voiceovers, because now I'm just blending my makeup out, even though, look at the, how it oh, looks. Yeah. Oh, it's not the right color, but yeah. look at the coverage and how it covers all my spots. And, oh man, I wish this has a, just a pink undertone so that I could use it on my undertone. I don't know if for sure if I'm neutral or pink or whatever, but I feel like if I have pink foundations, it looks just better. And uh, I love the coverage on this, and I love how it looks on my skin here. So uh, nice and glowy still. But maybe also because I like the primer that I have underneath it, the uh, Sheeline Birthday Primer. But look at how it looks. I love this. It looks so nice on my skin. I just, see, like I said, I wish that was the right color, but unfortunately it isn't. So yeah, voiceover. So, oh, maybe I should keep talking. See, that's why I like doing voiceovers. I always forget. I don't need to keep talking and talk to you guys and just see, but look at how nice it goes on. I'll be just dreaming away. And look, it's not, it says matte foundation. If I'm correct, chroma cover. I hate it when it's not on the packaging. Just tap put it on the packaging and not on, oh yeah, matte foundation it is. A little bit more. Um, but I don't feel like it's that matte. It also has still has a glow, but it also could be, of course, the primer underneath, but I kind of like that. So I'm going to put a little bit extra on the spots. This is just a foundation. So I feel like it didn't completely cover those. Well, let's put it on. Carefully, I put it. On a spot and not everywhere else. I have a spot there too, but it's not as bad. I feel these three are just very showing when I don't cover them. But here, spots are part of life. I hope, yeah, because in my ABH video, you could really see my pores with the new phone. I hope with this lighting, you can also still see it, but not as, as harsh as it was under. Maybe a little bit softer would be nice. So I've put up my tripod a little bit further away so um, I have to zoom in with editing to make it all look pretty and not right now because now I'm very zoomed out so I hope everything will be sharp enough to do that and zoom in and we'll see <laughs> you know sometimes you have to try different things and try it filming differently and I want to also do a film on TikTok today with these products but I don't know how to switch between those things so I should not do it. Let's just keep it like this and then maybe do a TikTok tomorrow. But I don't know if I want to go do more TikToks. So it's so much work, you know? And um, it's already so much work to YouTube and I have a full-time job. So I don't know if I want to do a little bit of TikTok. And I think I like YouTube more, but also I like sometimes it's goes a little bit faster for some videos, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys watch TikTok or do something with TikTok? Because I do love YouTube the most, to be honest, at the moment. So, I don't know. I'm going to do my concealer and then I'll be back for the cronzer. That's the concealer on. I've got the She Glam concealer. And now I'm going to go in with the cronzer. And like I said, this is in the color Pecan. This is what it looks like. This is a quite nice shade, to be honest, actually. I don't know what I've done now here. So let's just put this on. Just 
not as cool tone as some of my but then it's, again this is supposed to be a bronzer so bronzer and contour in one i think that means because of the c i don't know so it should be a little mixture between and i think that is this color for me so i think for this color i really picked a nice shade i think because yeah I really like the color, it's cool toned, but still, you know, it's a mixture, I don't know, I like it. I don't know how to explain it, sorry, you can notice that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you have to deal with me today. <laughs> oh, anyways, let's see how this blends out. Of course, using a sponge, I like it, it's way the best. I do have my, no, I like the sponge today. So yeah, that looks real nice. That blended in so nicely, to be honest. That went in really smooth. I didn't notice before, because yeah, I just put it on a live. I don't check the product as much, and that's where I've used it before. Because that was what I've done lately, you know, doing a live. Because um, those I really epically love. I love my videos, but I do get a lot of energy out of the live reaction of my lives. And uh, so I always want to try to keep those up and then do two videos a week extra. I will see if we can get up to that. Oh, that looks really nice. I think. That mixed in so easily. Yeah, I really like that. I'm really impressed. So, let's go in with the cheek in a rosy. Let's just get rosy posy out of the bottle just for comparison i just want to know no this is i think this is a little bit more pinky so i maybe should check a different color because i've got four of the brushes so maybe they'll find a different one to compare but oh and the the um, applicator of this is way bigger than the one from mitchell like you could have seen this is a huge doe foot applicator yeah, let's just not put that much on, right? <laughs> I feel like I always overdo it, but in the end it comes out normally. Yeah, this one is pigmented. Maybe I should have done a bit, bit carefuler. And the first go, and of course I've got to do the apples of my cheeks, because I love that. I, I think there should be blush there always, especially when you've got nice round ones like mine. I don't know. It just feels off if I just put it here. Like I see you do a lot of friends and a lot of film. I just, it's not for me, you know? I think my shape type and my, me personally loving it on the cheeks. And it looks really nice. I think so at least. I think it looks really nice. Not too much, not too extreme. What do you guys think? I like this. This looks really good. I don't think that was a long video, but oh well. Um, it is eight o'clock uh, when I started, so it's now half past eight in the evening. So we could not, we're gonna not gonna do, uh, we're not gonna do a weird, we're not going to do a weird test. But I think my face looks quite nice now, like this, with these products on it. So let's finish it with powder and then I'll come back to you and then I'll do my eyes on a different video but and then I'll come back to you in the end as well because yeah so far I really like it I like the coverage it covers all my spots and all my sins looks really nice let's a little change it up a bit show you my whole face and all of the crevices and things so yeah I like it so far so uh, let's just continue yeah so that's the base all done with powder and a little bit extra highlight and that's it i didn't want to put cream uh, uh, cream this cream contour uh put powder on top because i thought let's speak it for itself even though the blush as always you know i feel like i powered up so much and then i put everything else on and it just just fades but it's still nice it's still there it's just not as obvious anymore but i think this foundation looks amazing on me I really enjoy this. Really enjoy this. 
yeah let's come back when i have done finished my eyes as well but yeah this is the in between with just powder not ruined it by putting eyeshadows on eh, and my under eye and everything so yeah figured to show one more so that's me all done oh i really love how it came out um let's start with my base the foundation Look, still looks amazing. It is now quarter per two, nine. I don't know, maybe I do a check-in. I don't think I will, because I will only be sitting quarter to 10, because I will not be sitting here that long. So yeah, this is what my face looks now. Of course, I've not been on that long. I really like it though. I have worn it a couple of times and it stays on really nice. So yeah, I now like the finish. And I think the color now, especially because I have a high neck on, it's not as bad, but yeah. It is what it is. I like it. I had fun trying it. The blush is now not that strong anymore. When I put it on, it was. But I really like my base. So yeah, I did mix them up with Sheetland products. So for what I need not have, because I didn't get the concealer. Because I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this too. And if you do enjoy my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Give me a comment. Give me a like. It would be amazing. Mean the world to me. I would love it if you could um do that of course and um yeah become a patreon we have a telegram group we have a skype call every now and then i've got vacation june so i'm definitely planning on doing another skype call so any of my patreons let me know what the best day would be for you in a weekend or through a week because i have vacation and i'm going away for nine days and then the rest i have three weeks in total so 21 days so i have days enough left and yeah so we could do that let me know and um, I hope you had fun. I certainly did have fun. Um, stay yourself, be safe, be happy. And embrace yourself, embrace your uniqueness. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.